Alright guys, this is Mark here, and I'm bringing you another Division 2 video. Today's video was supposed to be a joyous occasion, uh, but sadly, joy has kind of left the United States since the coronavirus has hit. I don't know how your state is faring. Mine is doing okay. Are they doing everything they need to do? Who's to say? That being said, my heartfelt sympathies go out to both New York and Washington State. They are being hit by far the hardest, New York exceedingly hard, and from here on out, my character in the division will wear nothing but the dust mask. That being said, let's get started with the video. Earlier this week, uh, the first round of bands, and you heard it first, first round of bans are going out for using the DPS glitch that was discovered earlier this month. The ban includes seven days of inactivity accompanied by a rollback, a character rollback to before the ban start or to before the glitch started, uh, which is excessively Three weeks, basically. So you're you're penalized for about a month of play. Um, does the punishment fit the crime? I don't think so. I don't think this was a big deal. Um, everybody's like, well, oh, no, no, no. They could have gotten ahead. They just absolutely pummeled people in the dark zone. It's like, yeah, they were doing more damage, okay? And yes, in PvP, that does give you advantage. I'll give on that one. Anybody that was PvPing, yeah, they probably should get a ban. Or at the very least, have all their stuff stripped from them. Maybe. I don't know. But to penalize somebody who's more than likely stuck at their house for the foreseeable future, at least 30 more days from what the news is saying, you're going to penalize them by not letting them play your game. A game that the more they play, the more likely they are to spend money on your game. That's not very smart. And also, it kind of hurts all the other people that are stuck at home as well that are just looking for someone to team up with uh, during, you know, using the random matchmaking. Alright. So... This ban was somewhat a long time coming, and I and I was sure everybody was knowing it was coming. Uh, a few a few people have taken to Reddit uh, to put out their misgivings about the bans. One team went ahead and posted exactly why they used the glitch, and it wasn't something as petty as the game is garbage. Don't play the game. Look at this glitch. All right. On Reddit, if you'll read, there's there's a comment slash pretty well written article um, that basically a team went down the line recording every single exotic drug that they got. They abused the system excessively knowing that they were going to get banned just to see what the loot pool would be like if they were able to do this. So they farmed seemingly millions of loot drops and they got nothing to show for it. One guy was cited saying that he got one upgrade out of well over a million drops. They were cited with 15,000 exotic drops. And out of 15,000 exotic drops, of the millions of drops that were, were there, they had 15,000. And out of those 15,000, under 100 of those exotics had perfect rolls on them. And I don't mean like the entire exotic was God rolled. I mean one talent or maybe one portion was God rolled. Now, where does that leave us in terms of loot? Well, that paints a pretty bleak picture, if you ask me. Um, I mean, I can't say that most of these people that are going to get banned, 
I, I can't say that most of them will probably come back. I mean, Lord knows they've got enough options out there with Wilson uh, coming out and coming out really strong with some very solid looter uh, action gameplay. Uh, Destiny 2 is sitting there with a fresh season just starting. Um, also, Trials of the Nine is running with Destiny 2, and many, many are flocking to it. So I just don't feel like this ban comes at a good time. At, at the very least, we're still owed an apology for the broken state of this game. Now, of course, there are people that are saying, like, well, what do you mean by broken? Like, I'm getting along just fine. Like, my team, my team, my, my this, my that, it's perfect. I'm doing well. It's like, yes, but the average person is not doing well. And if the average gamer is not doing well, then no one does well. The economy of the game is broken. Now, that leads us into the next topic that I would like to discuss, and that is the player base. We're sitting here staring down the barrel of a gun, essentially. We have, on the one hand, you have these super gamers that have maxed out their shade level through excessive amounts of playtime. And then on the other side of that, you have the vast majority sitting somewhere between 50 and 150 shade level. Now, that's a pretty big difference. I mean, that's, that's stif that is just staggering right there to me. So, if the majority of the gamers are sitting there at that low level, what does that tell you? Something's going on there. Like, if, like yeah, maybe matchmaking isn't paying off, or maybe they're not getting geared up efficiently. Now, you can say that that may boil down, for some, it may boil down to what they're doing to become geared out. Um, optimization in this sort of game is a very real thing. And by now, most players playing this game, we're, we're year in now, so most players know optimization. That being said, this new gear system is not doing anyone any favors, or at least not what we were promised. Now, you might ask, well, what were we promised? Well, we were promised just massive amounts of build diversity, weapon diversity. You know, skill builds would become a real thing um, and not just be limited to tossing out, you know, seeker mines and the hive. You know, that heal builds were coming back and that in order to be a, an effective team, you were going to need a tank a couple of DPS, and a healer. You know, like we're playing World of Warcraft. Now, so far, the only thing that I've seen that's been effective is just raw DPS. Like we're back at the very beginning of the Division 1. Um, I don't know where that leaves us, gentlemen. Um, group makeup is ineffective. Uh, group roles are certainly ineffective. Um, you're sitting there looking at these talent diversity, um, and basically there's two effective talents. Two. That's it. Um, and you, now there's some niche talents that you can you know, that you can go with, and you may see some effectiveness. But it's not it's not n nowhere in heroics is that going to fly. I can't tell you how many heroic missions that I've run through where at the end of the mission I've DPSed about maybe 90% of all DPS and it's based on the fact that most of these folks are still running AR builds. You're like, well, what's wrong with an AR build? It's just highly ineffective. I mean, you look at all the builds that are being announced on YouTube and very few of them are AR. And if they are ARs, they're probably not very effective. The shotgun, you can burst whatever, and it will laugh at you as it kills you. Um, 
I mean, it's just, it's basically, there. there is a very particular meta of LMGs and uh, rifles. Every, there are a few people, especially on console, uh, that are very, very effective with the rifles. Uh, the LMGs, though, are way out there. Gun diversity has broken down as well as the M1A and um, basically just high RPM LMGs are all that's out there. Our group makeup is a joke. Um, essentially, you need three DPS and a controller. Um, a controller basically is just going to set folks on fire. They're going to make them bleed, maybe hold them in their tracks with a blind, but that's about it. Uh, don't even think about bringing skills because there's only a couple of select skills that are actually effective due to long cooldowns and just absolutely abyssal damage. So essentially you're going to be throwing out flashes while you hope you don't get shot because... Your armor's so low that you're effectively going to just get annihilated. Um, you, we've got, we've got to do something here, guys. I mean, I was really hoping when I was reading all this and I was being hyped up before Warlords came out that this was just going to be perfect. Like they'd heard what we wanted, they knew that we wanted new content, they knew that we wanted something similar to Fortnite with a season pass, a battle pass, whatever you want to call it, where you just give us a steady stream of content. You know, we wanted seasons. You know, we wanted all these things that are now very basic in other games. It almost feels like year one was nothing more than a beta test. And I don't know where that leaves me, really. We have so little... To be joyous about with this game. And yet, they're issuing bans. No apology. No, hey guys, we messed up. But we're going to fix it. That's all we ever get told, is we're going to fix it. So where does that leave the devoted fans exactly? Well, gentlemen, that's going to be something that every single Division II agent is going to have to answer for themselves. We already have guys leaving just in droves right now, either due to the content not being very good or just being repetitive and the carrot not being at the end of the stick. There were a few highlights with the time trials that they issued, I mean, after you've done it a few times and, you know, somebody DPS glitches you into first place and you get your exotic cash, though, which takes every bit of maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, if that. All right, we move on to, you know, the, the global event. I hate to tell them, but if their global events are going to be nothing more than this, the exact same thing we had in Division 1, we're just going to lose even more people. And that's sad because we were just at that point where I thought the game was perfect. All we were asking for was more content. Maybe more guns, maybe more exotics. That's all we asked for. And instead, the game was turned on its head and we wound up in the crap. We can't keep stumbling along thinking people are going to stay with it. And I fully expect to hear probably by the end of this at the end of this fiscal term that Division 3 is on its way. And gentlemen, that will be the nail in the coffin. This has been Mark. I've been real, man. Y'all been fun. Take it easy.